I had to charge my phone. So I went ahead and did um, the top three dresser drawers here. So it's like my underwear, socks, bras, pajamas. And then I've got like um, my scrub pants and pants and like jeans and leggings and stuff there. So this is the last drawer, which is swimwear. And there's some pants that are in there that I need to decide which ones fit. And then there's also my shorts and stuff and like athletic gear that I'm actually going to put in there to keep in there. And then I'll put a few of my swim things in there as well in case the need should arrive for me to need them. Um, so I thought I'd go through those really quick. Um, I did... What did I do while... What else did I do while you weren't here? I'm trying to think. I... I think that's it. Um, okay, so I have this one piece like halter top style. Um, it's just like a regular... Am I in the frame? I think I'm in the frame. Let me stand right here and make sure. Um, this one I don't wear a lot. I'm probably going to let it go because I got some like nicer pieces recently and they're like tops and bottoms and separates. Um, this one was pretty cheap. I ordered it on Amazon and it's not like sewn in great quality and it wasn't my favorite on me and I don't really love halter style because it hurts my neck and my boobs are too big to make that stay up or for that to stay up so kind of weighs them down this is a lands in like swim shirt it's uv protection um so i just wear this like on really hot sunny days on the beach or you know if i want to limit my exposure to the sun since i'm fair skinned um i probably won't take this on the cruise so i'm just gonna fold it up and put it back in the drawer these are actually swim shorts. Um, so they have inside like swimsuit bottom, um, but they're kind of like styled like board shorts. These are super comfortable. Um, they're also lens in and they have my monogram on them, which are cute. I will probably take these on the cruise. They're just super comfortable and they dry fast. So you don't have to have a wet butt all the time. This is the newer one piece that I got from Amazon that, or not Amazon, where is, this is Bloom Chic, Bloom Chic, I don't know how to say that word, Bloom Chic on clearance. Um, so it's just like a little bit better um, support. So like it's got two straps that cross in the back, they're adjustable straps. It does have the skirt on the bottom like for extra coverage if I want that. The ruching is adjustable on the front. Uh, it is just like a better quality. So I will definitely be taking this one with me on the cruise. I might actually put this one in my stuff to go to Cleveland because we're supposed to stay at a couple of hotels if they had like a hot tub or swimming pool or something that we wanted to use. I could actually use it there. Um, so I might hold that one to the side and put it in my Cleveland bag. Then I have just like separates. So we have pink bottoms. We have a red and pink bikini top. This one I would wear with my black bottoms or my navy stripe bottoms. These are, no. Oh. Where are my navy bottoms? Okay, well I have navy bottoms somewhere. So that's, I wear those for that. This I like because it's got underwire. It's very supportive. It's almost like a bra. It helps hold, hold the girls up. This I got to wear with the pink bottoms. Just a polka dot navy one. Same style as the stripy one. And then this I have to wear with either of my bottoms. If I want like more full coverage because it's more um, it's like a tankini top. Got that. These are all like lycra, so they hold you in. This one I'm gonna let go of. I've only worn it like twice. It's a little kind of um halter top styled or high neck, whatever. I liked this one because it wasn't a lot of cleavage in it, but it's a little bit small and I don't wear it that often. 
got some leggings for exercise my actual like winter leggings winter leggings winter leggings winter leggings winter leggings <laughs> Uh, exercise leggings and then these are like um, little sweat pants and I have one more pair of jeans um, so I put all of these in the third drawer these will go in the bottom drawer these are gonna go with my cruise stuff the other one is gonna go with my wedding the dress I'm wearing to the wedding um, for Cleveland and that's that drawer done I started this towel to go under the bed because I have a plastic tote under the bed that has some stuff in it that I want to switch out and also kind of go through and get rid of some stuff in there. You're talking at the end of this year, beginning of next year, to get a bedroom suit and furniture. So we both have a dresser again. My husband gave up his dresser. It was really cool. Um, so now he doesn't really have any more of his stuff. And my dresser's not falling apart. Like the bottoms are trying to pull out the doors and stuff. So we're going to work on that next. This time we over here with the cruise stuff for now. We've got a bedroom. Right, so that is the dresser cleaned up. I can briefly show you how nice and neat my drawers are. Don't really want to show off all my underwear on the internet, but um, everything will open. Everything's folded nicely. And I have room in that bottom drawer. That's where the scale lives. And that's the stuff I'm going to give to the fabric recyclers. Okay, now let's tackle this mess. All right, I'm gonna get down there on the floor and hopefully you can still hear me okay with the earbuds, AirPods, whatever. I'm gonna open this other door. For, oh no, I can't, I have the dress hanging there. Okay, I'm not gonna open that door. Okay, so I have this shoe rack that's all meant for me and I have the space here and you know the space in front of the shoe rack so I need to try and make sure anything I keep fits kind of in those parameters um my husband and I have matching flip-flops I love those flip-flops I've had them for like three years now and they're great I have some Birkenstocks that I always wear so those are gonna stay. I have my Crocs flip-flops. They're starting to look a little dingy, but still usable. These are my retired work shoes. Um, so I'm gonna let them go. I'll have to ask Adam what he wants to do. Cause they're just kind of worn out and I don't know that we can actually like donate them, but maybe there's something that we can do that's not just getting rid of them. These are my fancy glitter shoes that I wear every now and then. They're just for fun, you know. Sorry about the dog barking. I'm banging the wall so she thinks somebody's coming in. It's just me, Betty. It's okay. <coughs> Betty, stop. Um, I have these maroon kind of velour ones for winter. And then I also have black. Sorry, they're, everything's hairy in here because, you know, animals. I usually have to lint roll all of these shoes before I wear them. Look at all that. Ugh. Yuck. Now it's going to be all over the clothes. My bad. Ugh. Okay. That's gross. Um, I have these kind of wedge heels that I wear if I need to wear anything fancy. I'm not a fancy shoe girl very often. These hurt my feet terribly. They're really starting to show some wear. I think I'll let these go. They look cute on, but I hate wearing them. We'll say goodbye. Um, I have a couple of hats. I should probably hang these back up. Try them on my head first, make sure I still like them. Anybody else have a hard time finding hats that fit your head? My head must be like enormous because I have these, um, they're, uh, Rockport sandals. They're super comfy soles. They strap around the back. So they're super comfortable to wear. Had these for a couple of years now. 
when I have stuff that I like, I use it. Like, I wear it, I use it. These I got off Timu. The cats chewed on one of them. Uh, so if you have cats, make sure you don't leave these, like, styrofoam -y shoes out. I have, like, actual Crocs ones. And I have the white Crocs flip-flops. So I think I'll probably just get rid of these. <sighs> These are my more comfortable new heels that I got to hopefully replace those ones that I'm getting rid of. Um, I feel like I found these at DSW, I believe. They have super comfortable um, insoles, like they're squishy and they're not quite as high and they have rubber traction on the bottom so I'm not as scared that I'm gonna like break my neck while I'm wearing them. Um, so I have these blue croc sandals. Let's probably just put these away for now but I'll wear them again when the time comes. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put both sets of those up here. These are my new ones that I had just shown you guys. That are the fluffy lined ones so i'll be wearing those on fridays to work once the temperature is appropriate and my feet won't sweat to death um i have several pairs of little like tinny shoes and i have several pairs of like cheapy flip-flops Cats have chewed on these and they hurt my feet, so I'm probably just going to say goodbye to those because I have all my comfortable flip-flops, don't really need those. Um, these are my Skechers that I wear kind of like when um, I need some like workout shoes or like something like for a walk if I don't want to wear my like everyday uh, tennis shoes that I wear to work. I really need to clean under here, so that's going to be next. These are broken hangers <laughs> that have gotten lost down here. That one's not broken, but it's the kind that I'm getting rid of. So I will put those with that. Ugh, it's gross. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of these finally. I had kept these because they're just like nice patent leather black heels. So like if I needed a fancy shoe. But I just can't wear heels anymore. I'm telling you, my feet do not want to do it. These are my hiking shoes. So they'll stay. These are my kind of nicer flats. I'll probably keep these because they're a good option for like if I have a work thing that's a little bit more dressy. Oh my god, there's so much crap in every one of these shoes. I'm gonna be sneezing and choking and coughing. Okay. Um gonna get rid of these. I haven't worn them since I put them down there. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna get rid of those. They're about worn out. I have these um what are they, Sanuk uh sandals. They're super comfortable, but I just don't reach for them because they're hard to put on. So I think I'll let go of those. I have these really comfy black sandals to kind of, like I have the off-white ones and then I have these. So those are for when I need those. These Javianas, I have not actually worn these yet. <laughs> they still have the tag on them. I might donate these. No, these were for a Disney trip. Everyone, sorry for the sirens. Everyone talks about how comfortable they are, but they're not super comfortable to me. Do I? Maybe I'll try to sell them. We'll see. I am going to keep these ones because they're sparkly and fun. And I did wear this pair at least. <laughs> the other ones I have not worn yet. Um, okay, so I'm going to put my, these are my Sperry, like, navy blue tinny shoes. I have a gray pair and this pair that are like that. I'll have to find the gray ones. These are Bob's. 
Um, they just have like a print of different kinds of doggies on them. So they were really cute. Decided to get them. That's those. I'm going to have to pull this out and clean under it in just a minute. I will let you know how that goes. Um, I do have boots in here. So I have these black ones that are velvety. I have these knee high ones, black ones. I have these black ones that are like the sweater roll downs. I have these that I think I'm going to get rid of this year because they're just worn out. I've had them for three years now. Have these gray ones that I keep for like if I need something a little dressier with a hill. I also have some taller gray ones that I think I will let go of because I don't really I don't really reach for these. They're not quite the right shade of gray. Um, I have my brown riding boots that are knee high. Also, all of my knee high boots come from either Torrid or. Um, actually, I think both of these came from Torrid. Let me see. Yeah, these are both from Torrid because they're the only ones I can find that are, you know, actually the right size for my big calf muscles. My fat calves. Um, I have these little cowboy half boots that I love. I like to wear these with a little dress or something. I have one more pair of like cowboy style. I love the little fringe on these. There is another one under there. I have those. Um, so I have lots of boots, but I justify it with that they are all very different styles. So like, you know, different outfits go with them so you have to you have to have them all because you need them for the different outfits right like that's how that goes okay I have a yoga mat and a like um exercise band I'm gonna go take those and put them in the loft really quick and then I will pull this out and vacuum because vacuums in the loft too so I'll be back in just a moment with that after I get myself off the floor. Okay, I did a preliminary vacuum off camera since it's loud. And I'm gonna just remove all the shoes off the shelf. We're gonna put it back together. I kind of hate these things, but it does help. give you more space to store shoes uh, until I can learn to live with just like four pairs of shoes instead of like all the shoes. A necessary evil. Let me get past so I can get to the vacuum cleaner here.
care of the whole closet. Off this vacuum cleaner. Does that mean you're going to come back in here? BW. Don't get your hair back in here. I just got it all out. <laughs> okay, so closet done. Dresser done. Hi. Declutter done. Let's go package up our clothes to donate. Look at these. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hi. Your dad's going to be home soon. He can take you outside. Are you trying to get inside my lap? I, I can't. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Boyd, get out of the closet. Do you hear something? Animals have no boundaries. Part of that is my fault. Ma'am. Go lay down. Hey. I, I didn't mean right there. I have to close the closet doors. Hey, Boyd. She thinks it's D-I-N-N-E-R time. But it's not quite. I just came home early, so she's confused. <sighs> okay, I'm turning this off so I can close the closet doors. Goodbye. Get out. probably thinking why is this not more of a loft room well that is because I had to take a pause I am gonna be out of town in a couple of weekends and then we're gonna buy the paint that we need so the next time you see the loft will be for the painting video for the loft um, in the meantime I thought I could get some more little decluttering projects done throughout the house so that is why I brought you along on so that is why I decided to go ahead and start um, doing my closet today. I got off work early and it was kind of an ambitious project, but I knew it wasn't going to take a long, long time once I got started because I do go through everything pretty regularly. Um, and I kind of have a running list in my head of what 
I've tried on and I didn't like things like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this decluttering video. I have bagged up all of the donations. I'm going to try to find a woman, sh a women's shelter to take those to, um, to try to help out some of those people. Um, I've got this hamper full of some hangers and some things, um, to drop off somewhere as well. I have officially switched my wardrobe around so that I can access all the things that I need. And then I'll be back in just a moment to show you my outfit for Beetlejuice tonight. But other than that, I am probably going to be signing off from here. And I hope everyone has a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, if you have any feedback on other things you'd like to see from me, just let me know and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Here is my outfit for the movie. Said I would come back and show you. Got this um, plaid flannel skirt. It's little pockets. Um, I just found those little black flats that I was cleaning up earlier. This shirt has a little bit of texture to it. I've got it tucked in and then this little like fake blazer. And I've got my Timu kitty cat earrings. In. Anyway, we're gonna be leaving soon. So talk to you guys later.